Well, welcome back to 5-Minute Kerbal. We are in orbit around the planet Kerbin. We have our wonderful ship here. And since we have more fuel than I thought we were going to, um, that's good. I always build in a margin of safety, but that's that's fine. We're not going to use this fuel to get to, Cor uh, to Minmus if we don't have to. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and use th these stages here. We've got about uh, two-thirds of one tank of fuel left. So that's good. Hit M to go to your map screen. Now, if you scroll out, the next body you will see will be the Min, which is not where we're going because it has a lot more gravity than Minmus. Minmus is very easy to, lo to land on and take off from. Keep scrolling out, and we see Minmus. Now, the, the the moon of Minmus orbits this direction. It orbits counterclockwise. So we're going to set that as target. The other thing is, this dotted line here shows when our plane of orbit intersects the plane of orbit of Minmus. What I mean by that is, if you look at it this way, Minmus is a bit wonky. Our orbit is straight, uh, straight left and right. The orbit of the moon is straight left and right, but Minmus is a bit wonky. That's okay, though. We're going to try and intercept it at one of the points where it's not so wonky. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in and basically directly opposite where we want to go. The whole way that you catch a planet is you make a node, and then on the far side of the planet from your node, your apoapsis just grows and grows and grows until you get where you're going. So we're going to make a node right here. It's 30 minutes away. And I'm going to pull on my prograde vector. And you will see that it's going to make the apoapsis just grow out from Kerbin like that. And keep going, keep going. you got to be careful. What we're looking for is, see, this is the closest approach. So what we can do is we can go a little bit further past Minmus. And there we go. That's an encounter. Okay. So, now we have our maneuver node. For trans-minimus injection, we need to add 900 meters per second of speed. Our vector is this nice uh, blue thing here. And we have to burn in 30 minutes for 49 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to time accelerate. So we've got 90 times time acceleration. We're counting down the minutes. I'll stop it at about one minute just to double check my thrust vector is correct. And uh, then we will be on our way to Minmus. So what we're going to do is we're going to burn. And then if we, if we, uh, we prior to the way through our trip to Minmus, somewhere around here, we'll do a corrective burn to make sure we get as close as we can to it. All right, four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute, slowing down. Now we are at one time speed. Uh, 49 seconds, so that's 50 seconds. 25 on either side of the T minus, so let's speed up and we'll hit 25 seconds. Oh, I need to align with my blue vector. I'm off my blue vector. All right, throttle up. Just using my WASD keys to keep it right on that blue vector there. We can see what this looks like here, but it's, you know, just the rocket firing. It's pretty though. And this is definitely one where you want to get it pretty accurate, so towards the very end of the burn, I'm definitely going to throttle down and maybe use one-third or less throttle just to make sure that I get it. Because you'll see, we, we're two-thirds of the way through our burn, but our apoapsis is just now starting to grow. It's, uh, all of the action happens in the last couple of seconds, so, all right, I'm down at one-third throttle. That's a moon encounter. We're going to skip that. All right, I'm down at like one tenth throttle. My blue vector has gone wandering, but that's okay. Minimum throttle, and I'm just waiting for a minimus encounter. There we go, perfect. Now to kill this maneuver node, we just hit the X. Bye bye. And now, what's going to happen is our ship is going to fly out this way. And we are going to get within 300,000 kilometers of Minmus. That's close enough. Uh, we're just about coming up on our five minutes, but we can go ahead and we're going to time accelerate out of the planet of Kerbin's gravity as fast as we can. And as soon as we get far away from Kerbin, we can time accelerate up to 1,000 times and even 10,000. But you want to be careful that you don't miss your opportunity. So we're going to stop right there, and we will come back next time on 5-Minute Kerbal.